This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Hey, I guess Coach was saying your, your command wasn't quite there today. Just what, what was going on on the mound? How much did maybe the weather have an effect on that? Uh, I don't think the weather had an effect on anything. I think it was on me. I mean, my mechanics off a little bit and kind of got in bad counts at times. Had to battle back through a lot of pitches. And Brady, it seems like you've gone the other way quite a bit this season so far. Has that kind of been a, a point of emphasis for you coming into this year? A little bit. I mean, usually I just try and hit it where the ball's pitched. So I, maybe I'm just getting pitched more out there. Peyton, you got moved down the order this week. You seemed to be having some success with two home runs in two games. Just what, are you, what are your thoughts on your performance? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I think um, my thumbs, you know, finally starting to not bother me really anymore per se. Um, and I think that uh, helps out a lot. Um, just kind of getting out of rhythm and just missing that one game and just uh, just being out of a routine just like that, just missing that game, kind of um, get your mind spinning a little bit, wanting to come back, um, not wanting to miss a game, stuff like that. But, um, you know, I had some success at the plate, um, me and Brady both. And, you know, we were fortunate enough to have some big hits um, to get some RBIs in. But, um, yeah, you know, we just got to keep building on it and looking forward to uh, play them again tomorrow. Uh, Hagan, Dylan Carter's given you pretty strong outings in consecutive games now. What have you seen from him? Yeah, he looks really good. I mean, he's has four, three or four pitches for strikes, and he's out there pounding the zone, not really getting behind the counts, and he's doing really good. For any of you who want to answer it, to, to hear that Tiger may be back in five or six weeks, is, is that a relief for you guys, given what it looked like the other night? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, number one, I think the offense kind of – um, we're going to lean on our offense a little bit more, um, you know, because that's just an elite elite arm in the SEC and um, to have him go down. But, um, but yeah, I mean, to know it's not season ending was a huge relief. Um, we just want him to take as much time as he needs to to get healthy because um, that's ultimately, you know, his career and um, that's what comes first instead of just trying to rush back. And so, um, you know, we're, we're excited. Um, you know, we're relieved, like I said, um, to be able to have him in a couple of weeks. But, um, you know, hopefully he can just heal up to 100% before he gets back. For for Peyton or Brady, I don't know which one of you faced Dylan more during the, the off season, but I'm curious what makes him a, a tough guy to face. He's gonna pound the zone. I mean, doesn't walk people, challenges you, and you know, makes you really have to hit good pitches that he throws. Yeah, I mean, I I didn't think if you go back and look at my stats against Dylan Carter on the fall and the spring, I don't think I did very good off of him. I think I maybe had one hit. Um, but yeah, like Brady said, he just pounded the zone. Um you know, I think that his breaking balls developed a lot more since the fall and spring. Um, he's always had a, a good change up. But, you know, just to see him go out there and compete, it's been awesome for us. And, you know, it's been awesome for our bullpen. Do you all like these these games that are ending in seven, eight innings with the run rule? Uh, what, what's kind of been the conversation among the team uh, on, on these types? I mean, we don't really think about it. I mean, I kind of thought I was – going up to the plate after Jared hit that home run in the last inning. So, I mean, you just play baseball, and you, whenever they tell you to stop, I guess you just stop. So, It's fun when it's – or it's good when it's 40 degrees outside. But, <laughs> yeah. Brady, you hit a few balls pretty hard tonight, just missed a home run on a couple of them, then got two big hits today. How good is that to, ha you know, have a good day after you really swung the bat well the other night but still finished over for five? Yeah, it's just, you know – just baseball you know I've played it a long time you know how it works and so you know the only thing you can do on a night like that is just come back and do the same thing the next day and so uh just keep swinging it keep putting up good at bats and you know everything usually works out hey you all have been on the the opposite side of this too but the other these two out runs that you've been scoring um how demoralizing do you think it is to to be able to come through in those situations because it's I think you guys have got 41 two out runs this season. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's awesome. Um, you know, I know early in the season last year we kind of struggled with that. So being able to have early success with that, um, you know, just being able to keep that up, I think ultimately is what's going to be what's going to be able for us to to win games down the road. And you got to be able to hit with two outs with runners in scoring position um, in the league we play in to win. And so um, if we can continue to that, continue to do that, then I think we'll have a lot of success. Um, you know, continuing throughout the season. I know you would have focused on it last year, but is there something different that the two of you could maybe put your finger on that's that's going different early this year? Yeah, I think um, yeah, I think guys are just relaxing, um, not putting a lot of pressure on themselves. 
I think guys are, um, you know, just stepping into the box and, you know, they're not worried about striking out or doing the wrong thing. They're just getting up there, not thinking. They're just, um, you know, taking what's given to them. And I think that's ultimately what's, um, you know, happened a lot more this year than I guess last year, especially for me, um, just not putting too much pressure on myself. So I think that could be a reason for sure. I think it's just the comfort of knowing that, you know, if you have an off game, somebody's going to pick you up. I mean, anywhere in the lineup. And so whether it's the guy in front of you, the guy behind you, or, you know, down or up in the order, I mean, we can have a new guy, have a game every every game. And so uh, it's just comforting to know that anybody can do it on any given night. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from the NFL and bowl season to esports. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. We're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B L E A V. Bet Online, where the game starts.